Hi everybody! Welcome to Monday's live stream. Today is Monday, April 22nd, and I hope all of you that celebrate had a happy Easter yesterday and did lots of fun stuff and all of that. I know I had an absolute blast. I am exhausted today. We spent the whole day out at the farm yesterday and there was baby pigs and puppies and oh my goodness. We were just here, there and everywhere and I am feeling it today. So as always, if you are watching the playback, feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to spend the first few moments getting everything ready and um, saying hi to everybody that joins. And first, I just got to figure out, I didn't keep the colors that we used for the background out, so I got to grab those. Hi, Becky. Hi, Charlotte. How are you guys? How was your Easter? <laughs> I hear that, Becky. Rain was quite irritated this morning because we woke up and there was no milk, so he had to run to Tinny's. Hi, Susie. How are you today? Hi, Jody. How was the little minis Easter? Did they all get spoiled? everything I need. I suppose if we need more later on down the road, I can at least grab it. Hi, Marie. Okay, right, two seconds, guys. I'm actually going to get a glass of water. I meant to do that before I went live. Totally forgot. And camera might shake a little bit because Miss Lilo is up on the shelf. I'll be right back. Oh, we'll make it water. Your cup is only coming. Oh, the blue one. Love you. Oh, that's awesome, Charlotte. We did our eggs the day before because we knew that yesterday was going to be insanely busy. And I'm glad that we did because we had literally no time for anything else. Oh, that's awesome, Jody. Glad to hear that. Hi, Charlotte B. Hi, Nick and Tina. You guys are streaming tonight, right? I've missed you guys like crazy. I feel like it's been forever since I've been at one of your streams. Hi, Joey. Oh, and that's another thing. My throat is just bugging me like crazy today. It's pretty much my whole family, except for me, my mom, and my brother. They all smoke. I used to, and now it's just, oh my goodness, just that little bit of cigarette smoke or even campfire smoke. And my throat is just sore for a couple days. Awesome. I'll definitely try to be there. I don't plan on doing a darn thing today, but 
We'll see what the boys have planned. <laughs> Hi, Heather. So, should I move these over onto the side? Hi, Sharon. How is everybody doing today? So, last stream we did the background on the page, and we're going to start on this page here. So, I want to do basically the exact same on this page that I did here. So I'm gonna do two layers of the ink tents, and then I do wanna come in on both sides and put in a third layer, um, mostly just brightening up the colors a little bit more. And I do want to add a little bit more of the blue in there over top of the black, just so it doesn't look quite so dingy. I do wanna lighten it up a little bit. And then hopefully um, we'll have time after that to splatter in some stars and do some highlighting and stickles and all that fun stuff. Me too, Marie. The curvy books are one of my favorites. Hi, Shara. Hi, Tanya. Oh, that's okay. Lurk away, hun. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip my book here and have a couple sheets of paper to put in behind. For those of you that were at Becky's stream, I don't think it was last night, it was the night before last night, I think, and I asked pink or black without giving any background information at first. This is the page that I was coloring, so I was asking about her heels, and almost everybody said black, but I did put on, I, I did both, I cheated. So that's the page that I was working on in Becky's stream. <laughs> I'm quite happy with her. I wasn't sure what to do with her at first, but I think she turned out pretty good. And now I have something to uh, submit for Kate, Shaleen's, and Grace's hashtag this month. I haven't seen Dash for a while, Charlotte. I do have her on Facebook, though, and I haven't seen any posts from her, but my newsfeed is usually congested with, like, art stuff and only art stuff, so I miss a lot of people's posts. Oh my goodness, Jody! I wonder how long that's gonna take you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Hopefully we're buffering too bad. I do notice it popping up on my phone every once in a while. What are you doing? Yes, and Miss Lilo has been a really bad brat lately for standing on my coloring, and she's probably going to be exceptionally bad today since we were gone all day yesterday, and she feels very left out. <laughs> oh, goodness. First thing, we're already starting out with this. Although, I don't think she hijacked the stream last time, so we're a little bit do for a Lilo hijacking, aren't we? Hey, Dee, what did you get into? You got blue on your paw. Aw, oh, Jody, you'll have it done in no time. <laughs> it's funny, too, she lays down and then my, uh, my camera just goes super bright all of a sudden since she's so dark. One of my hair again. There you go. Hi, Katie. Thanks for stopping in. That's okay. Work and lurk. I'm usually always lurking in streams. You're going to be a brat today, aren't you? I can tell already. She 
she is so fluffy, isn't she, Jody? Well, I guess I'll take this moment to show you guys some pictures then. I took some at the farm. I'm just going to grab them off of my Snapchat since I already have them on there. So, try to make it so it doesn't flash out quite so bad. Hold on, let me see. If I turn up my brightness, maybe it'll help. So, I finally got to see the puppies at the farm. They are so cute. And there's eight of them. This one is little eyebrows. That one's my favorite. And then they also have 29 baby pigs. So that was super fun to see. They're so cute. And then that's my mom's cat, Pepper. He is just a sweetheart. He is a lot like Lilo. Very cuddly and has the loudest purr in the world, I swear. Oh, I know, Charlotte. I was fighting with myself. It's like, no, I can't have a dog right now. <laughs> Especially since I'm already after adding a third cat to the family, so... Yeah, they they were in this pen and I was wearing these boots that kind of have like little things sticking off of them. So as soon as I went in there, I'd have every single puppy around my feet trying to chew on them. And it was pretty cute, but definitely hard to walk. We haven't decided yet, Charlotte. I'm not sure. I do like the idea of getting him. He's super cute and it's like a one shot thing right if I don't get him somebody else will but I just don't know if we can afford it right now that's always the tough part it sucks that pets are so expensive because my goodness I would have a lot of them if they weren't <laughs> okay what are we gonna do with you huh Hello. Hello. what are you doing Yeah, so still on the fence about that, but you guys will probably know because they are actually ready to go today, so if we do decide, we can pretty much bring him home at any time. Okay, you gotta move, I'm sorry. Oh my big girl. I also got to be careful because I'm not sure if Stitch is just naturally moodier lately or I think his teeth might be acting up again. Maybe that's the cause of his moodiness, but he's been quite snappy with Lilo lately, so I don't know what's going on with that. They're usually okay, but he's usually on his own too. Hey, get, will you get up on the shelf? Either up or down, lady. Oh, goodness. Sorry guys, camera's going to shake. Yeah, just bad news today. Okay, so I am using the Neo Colors for the background, and I'm just going to start the same way I did last stream. So I'm going to start in with the Jade Green, and I probably could skip this color because it doesn't even really show up when I'm done, but... Just to make sure that it all looks the same, I'm going to go through and do the exact same things. Yeah, I hope not too, Charlotte. I'm going to have to book him an appointment and get him in there. Thankfully, dental consults are free, so that is the one nice thing about it being a dental issue. What's up, sweetheart? Um, how do you put it on back? Mm, that's tricky here. <laughs> Back already, are you? Huh? <laughs> You're a brat.
Should we maybe give you a treat, huh? Sweetie. Why are you not showing me? Where are you? Like this? Me? Yes, you. Why? Love you. Uh, You're just a turkey. Watch the kitties. Watch the kitties. Okay, problem. I gave her some drugs. So how is everybody's weekend? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Will you two knock it off? Stop it. You can raise your sister. Hi, Kimmy. So that was the jade green, and next I'm going to come in with the, I don't think this is the color I wanted to grab. It isn't, I wanted this one. So I'm going to come in with the purple. Basically, what I did last time was just laid down all my lighter colors and then came in to fill in the spaces with some of the darker ones. And then I do find that it makes it a lot easier to kind of blend them into each other as well. Just create some extra colors and then makes it look a little bit more seamless, but you still get that galaxy kind of effect. I don't know. I'm still playing around with this whole technique. But it seems to be working, so I'm just going to stick with it. Oh, that's awesome, Susie. So does that mean you'll be going live tomorrow or just ready to go live? I totally hear you there, Jody. I had to uh, get the girls out at the farm, the one set of them. My sister has two, and then my stepbrother has two. So my stepbrother and his wife and the kids were down, and they are just the sweetest things. So it's running around with them, and of course I was on the trampoline, and Took them to see the pigs and stuff. Come on, zoom back in. There we go. Focus. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely feeling it today too. And then you know it doesn't help that of course I did have a few beers out there too. So, but I did not overdo it. I was like, no, I stream tomorrow. I don't want to feel like crap. So just had a few. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to screenshot that and I'll put you in my book. Is 
I think. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so I don't have to move the book around so much. Don't know if that's enough. Can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, that should be good. I'm trying to be too neat. I gotta stop doing that. I'm just gonna start going crazy. <laughs> yes, this is Connie. This is Anamorphia. I think I'm going to stop there with the purple for now. I'm going to come in with the cobalt blue. I need to knock it off. My goodness. Um... I actually used a hair dryer and unbound the book myself, which I kind of regretted. So I later on took it into Staples and they spiral bound it for me. So I was a lot happier once it was spiral bound, but taking it in to get it spiral bound, there are, you know, it doesn't always go well. Um, there's been a lot of people that have had their books ruined. Um, most cases you complain and staples will refund the book for you. However, if it's one that you've already colored in, you might want to rethink getting it spiral bound because if it does get wrecked, there's a possibility that your colorings in it will get wrecked. And they did a pretty decent job on mine. There's one thing that I did like about it, but it didn't bother me enough to the point that I wanted to complain. But of course it was on one of my colored pictures. So... This is my zebra right here. And as you can kind of see, for some reason, they cut the page down. And I have, like, both of these pages. And I have no idea why. Um, I don't know why they would need to cut the pages at all, to be honest. Because it doesn't seem like they cut any of the other ones. Just this one. So, not sure why they did that. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't bother me too much. Sorry if the camera shakes. Lilo's scratching up on the shelf here. I don't know, Tanya. It depends on what kind of effect you want, I would think. That's cool, Susie. I like that. I was going in on um, the list that April Sarah has of like stream times, and... I was thinking it'd be a lot easier if it was all just put in one time zone because then you can just figure out the hour difference and then just convert them all instead of going through and having to convert every single one into your own time zone. I think it took me like an hour, maybe more, just to do that. <laughs> but now that I have it written down in my time zone, it's a little bit easier. Now the only thing that makes it tricky is, of course, daylight savings and whatnot. The stupid time changes always have to make things way more difficult. Yeah, I zoomed out so I didn't have to move my book and look at me still moving my book. <laughs> Oops. Hi, Cajun. Oh, no, Connie. 
Well, if that's one of the more expensive books, I would definitely maybe complain about that. See what they can do for you. Because, you know, and it kind of sucks, like, with the shipping. Because it always falls on the artist or, like, the person who shipped them. But not the actual shipping company themselves. Which is unfortunate, but... Really not much else you can do, I suppose. Oh, what am I doing? I took my pages out of there. Get them back for I forget. Oh, I see spiral, but yeah, that's right. Okay. I was thinking the book, but yeah, if it's just the spiral thing or that got damaged, Staples should be able to fix that or just put a new one in. And it's not too expensive either. I think here it's like $10 a book. So in the States, which I'm assuming that's where you are, because that's where most of you are. Um, I think it'd be like, I don't know, like six, $7 maybe, maybe even less. Who knows? Prices here in Canada are always really expensive. Okay, so that was the cobalt blue. I'm going to come in with the malachite green now. What's up, sweetheart? Well, I'm trying to make a big tent campfire with the rock, but I don't did it, just, but then I put the other one on, then it fall down. Okay, well, you're going to have to try to do something else then. They're not really good blocks for making campfires, honey, because they're so skinny. They're going to be really hard to stack. Close the door, please, hon. Not all the way, but just close it over, okay? Yeah, that's good. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, exactly, Fani. Yeah, if it was the actual book, it'd be a different story. I totally, totally spaced out on the fact that you said the binding, the spiral binding. Walmart does spiral binding, Joey. Hi, Lou. How are you? I think there's quite a bit of lag today. So usually it's not too bad, but YouTube is acting up a little bit, I think. Oh, goodness. Well, that's good. I'm not sure what the temperature is today here. I haven't been outside yet. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you start feeling better soon. I'm feeling a little bit rough today. I think I went, I played a little bit too hard with the kids yesterday, I think, so definitely feeling it, but it was worth it. I don't get to see them very often. Oh, that's interesting, Joey. I'm not sure either. I don't think that's the case in Canada, but I suppose it might be somewhere else. Okay, and then I think oh, we've got two more colors to do. Okay, so I'm going to grab the violet. I didn't really leave much space open. I thought I only had one color left, but I totally forgot about the violet.
Okay, and then the last color, not counting the black, is the Prussian blue. Thanks, Joey. Although this is technically water, I think. But we are doing it like a galaxy, so it could be the sky too. Don't really know. Technically, it should be water because of our swordfish, but he could be flying through space too, which is what it's going to look like. It would be cool to have like a galaxy looking pond though, wouldn't it? I wish that was a real thing. Oh, that sounds fun, Lou. Thank you. Sorry, camera's gonna shake. Lulu's moving around and scratching. Why are you so itchy, huh? What's up with your ears? Oh, no, you don't. You can lay in my arms, but you are not climbing on the page. Thank you. Oh, he could be Joey. I never thought of that. Although, with Kirby's work, a lot is left up to you to interpret. <laughs> Are you guys buffering quite a bit? Oh, it might just be mine then. I know I haven't updated YouTube on my phone, so it could be me. <laughs> Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to pop this in. Just kind of randomly all over the place. Good, good. Okay, it is just me then. I got to update my app, I think. I think that actually might be why I'm having so many troubles with the channels, too. Because when Becky started streaming the other night, I didn't get a notification. Thankfully, I hopped onto YouTube because I was constantly checking because I knew she was going to. So I was looking, and then she finally went live. I don't know for how long. I think I missed, like, maybe half an hour of it, 20 minutes, maybe. And... It's like, why didn't I get a notification? So I go and look, and it was telling me that I wasn't even subscribed to her channel. I'm like, that's not right. I subscribed so long ago. I swear, YouTube is just going crazy with glitches lately. So another thing I want to continue is kind of with this vignette border here. So I do want it darker around the edges. So I'm just going to go ahead with the black and do that. I'm going to bring it out further in some areas and keep it a little bit thinner in others. I don't want it to look exactly like a border. So I don't really want it to be symmetrical because otherwise it just looks planned and I don't want that. 
even though it is planned, but I don't want it to look like it. Well, that is true, Connie. I guess it's up for you to decide really whether he's uh, gonna be in the water, like a galaxy watery type thing reflection or swimming through the sky. Oh, got that part there. I'll just color that in black. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one, but that does suck at the same time. So that really worries me because, you know, I I need to start keeping a list maybe of all of the colorists that I'm subscribed to because it kind of suck. You might forget about them because there's so many. You can't really keep track, but like YouTube's supposed to do it for you. Yeah, I've had that happen with Sammy's channel too, actually. Which she should be streaming tomorrow. I'm so excited. I have missed that beautiful voice of hers. That's a good idea, Marie. Although, I already have like a million alarms on my phone. <laughs> Look at this cat. <laughs> you are so cute. You make it really hard to color. Me too, Connie. Hi, Carola. Oh, well, thank you for being here. Just trying to color with a cat laying on my arm. It's the usual here. <laughs> Heather says hi. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Marie. I usually, I have my book and I've got all of the stream times in my own time now. So here, I'll show you. I've got this book here. I had to get this, it's so cute. Got it from the dollar store. So then I've got a list of everybody who colors, so all of the color tubers, and then I've got a page for each day and then the times that they stream. So I'll just usually look, so for today, Monday, I know that Dee Dee streams and streams, I missed hers, I missed both of theirs though. And then me, and then Nia will be later, then Color with Canvas, and Nick and Tina. Also, Nick and Tina, while you're here, I wanted to ask you... Is this still your time 
in on Friday? Or is it not uh, is it not 6 p.m. your time on Friday or did you guys change? Let me know so I can update that if that's not right. This says 11 a.m. which is, or no, sorry, 11.30 which is uh, 1.30 your time, I think. Yeah, 1.30 your time. Let me know if that's correct or not because I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm also going to, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of those pages that I have, and then I'm going to put it on my blog in like a separate little blog thing, and then I'll put the link to it in the community tabs. And those of you that do have channels that uh, stream or maybe like aren't on April Sarah's list, if you want to go over to that and put your... Um, stream times and stuff. Um, I'll try and have that up probably within an hour after I'm done streaming here. You just gotta put your butt in the way of everything, don't ya? <laughs> I need that, sorry. <laughs> you are a brat. Okay, so that's what I thought. So it would be 4 p.m. my time. Was that when you guys switched with Grace, was that the time? Would it have been like one thirty? Is that the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The reasoning behind that, I suppose. Hi Robin, thanks for stopping in hun, that's totally okay. Hope your doctor's appointment went well. So for the most part, when activating this, all I'm really trying to do is to kind of keep the lighter colored areas. So if I see um, kind of colors that aren't affected by the black, I kind of want to keep them as solid as I can. So I'll usually start there and then work my way into the black. And then I just want to come in and kind of soften up any of the activation lines that you kind of see. Um, you're going to have some regardless, but I don't really want them like that. Let's see this line here is just totally straight across. I definitely don't want that. I want them to be more soft. Um, not straight across or anything. If they're too harsh, I'm just going to go back in and blend them out until I'm happy with it. few seconds. I got a kitty that wants out. Um, Marie, yeah, I stream at 10 a.m. Mountain Time um, every Monday and Wednesday usually.
Um, right now it's 10.42 a.m. So I started streaming about 42 minutes ago. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, and I think I might start doing what Becky does. I might just randomly come on every once in a while, um, if no one else is streaming. So, for the set days, for Mondays and Wednesdays, we'll just continue coloring, um, whatever we're working on on stream, but... For just kind of impromptu streams, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color whatever I'm personally working on. And it'll just be more like a chat thing rather than a, you know, color along type thing. So. I'm still playing around with the idea, not 100% sure. I think I'm going to because it would be nice, but definitely have to uh, think about it a little bit and see. Hi, Lisa. Uh, is that, are you half an hour ahead, Connie? It's 10, 10 a.m. Mondays and Wednesdays. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Okay, Connie. You usually can, Tanya. I wouldn't wipe it off, though. What I like to do is I wait for it to dry, and then usually you can scratch it off. Because when you wipe it off, it still kind of distorts your color. I don't know, honey. It wasn't from here to in here. Right, if I miss any questions or anything, guys, put it in caps. It's a little bit easier to see. I just kind of catch up on chat here because I have been 
had my head down majority of the time. And you guys are quite chatty today. I'm not used to the chat going this fast. Yeah, so Connie, your time, I'd start at noon. That sounds nice, Corolla. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> Oh, do you run a tavern, Cajun? <laughs> oh, Susie. <laughs> I know. There's always someone who misses something, right? It's too bad we couldn't just never sleep. No problem, Tanya. That is pretty cool. So if you don't mind my asking, because most people don't call them taverns, what part of the world are you in? <laughs> Forever. I love that. <laughs> well, thank you for adding me to your calendar, Connie. Oh, interesting. In the States. Okay. Yeah, I guess they do kind of call them taverns there too, don't they? I watch a lot of Bar Rescue. <laughs> here. I don't think we have any taverns here in Canada. I could be wrong, but I don't think they're usually referred to as taverns. It's usually just bars. So there is the first layer on the top, and it looks super messy, but I promise it will look a little bit less messy. It's definitely one of those things that take time. Okay, bye Nick and Tina. I hopefully will see you later. That sounds pretty cool, Cajun. But yeah, I can definitely see if you own it. You definitely 
have to be on call pretty much 24-7, so I can see why you uh, can't really commit to stream times. get all of this in frame here and then I'm just going to start doing the exact same thing that I did on the top. I'm just going to go through my colors starting with the jade green. Already almost at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock my time. So I'm actually not sure how much of this will get done today. Then again, I have been a lot more chatty today than usual, so that is probably a part of the reason why I haven't gotten quite as much done. <laughs> I know Charlotte you were there on Becky's stream too the other night weren't you and Becky asked if we thought we were fast at coloring or slow and I always say that I'm slow but everybody says that I'm fast <laughs> but I do color a lot faster on stream than I would if I was by myself just because you know I want to get stuff done right so That's why the impromptu streams, if I do start doing them, will be nice because I can just slow down, focus more on chatting, and just, I know that nobody's really going to be following along with what I'm doing because I'm not going to have all of it on camera, so I can just relax and chat and not have a worry about it. Now coming in with the purple. I don't think I want too much of these colors around this lollipop though because it's kind of the same color. I want it to stand out, not really blend in. <laughs> oh, thanks Charlotte. Bye, Kimmy. Hope you have a wonderful day, hon. Uh-oh. I'm not, Heather.
mixing with the cobalt blue. Okay, Heather. I find I have to do that quite a bit too. But my internet will like, I don't know if anybody else gets it, but I get this little exclamation point on my Wi-Fi symbol. So it's like I'm connected, but there's like absolutely no network. And that always drives me crazy because then I have to reset the router. There's no other way around it. And I, my router is, it's really good, but it's really slow to start up. So I literally have to wait like 10 to 15 minutes to even get internet again. So super annoying, especially if I'm trying to watch a stream or something, which I usually always am. <laughs> Sorry guys, I swallowed wrong. Oh, it's one of the most annoying things. Uh, I never thought of doing that, Katie. <coughs> oh goodness. You think at like 24 years old I'd know how to swallow right, but apparently not. I'm gonna have to start doing that, Katie. That's a really good idea. Hi, Jenny. <coughs> yeah, that's one, one of the cons, one of the few cons, I should say, about living in the countryside. I love the country. Which colors have you used now? Okay, I'm gonna come in with the violet now. Yes, Jani is amazing. 
Speaking of, any of you lovely people that want to share your channels or Instagrams or anything like that, any social media, feel free to put it in there. Links, anything. It should, should allow you to put links in. I don't think I have that turned off. And then I'm also going to have to update my... Uh, recommended channels as well. It's been a long time since I've done that. But everybody that I recommend is in the recommended channels part of my YouTube. I know, you almost feel like you're dying too, like my throat is still sore now, and it doesn't just, it doesn't feel right yet. Aw, <laughs> awesome, Marie, thank you. Sounds good, Robin. That's okay, hon. Yes, if you guys haven't watched Jody's Pick 10 with the minis, you have to. It is literally the cutest video you'll see in your whole life. And I just absolutely love just the way that they talk to you, Jody. You can just tell that they just adore their auntie. So cute. Speaking of, I do plan on doing a pick 10 video too eventually, but I gotta get started on next month's color along, which is super funny because I think in this month's color along, I said that I was going to record next month's at the beginning of the month because I always leave it for last minute and then I always feel overwhelmed. And guess what? Still haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, bye Charlotte. Have a wonderful day, hon. Thanks, Jenny. No, I'm not quite done. This is what we've got so far on this page. So I'm just doing the first layer on this one. We just did the first layer on this. And I am going to go in with the second layer. So eventually it'll look like this. And then I'm going to do one more layer. So three layers total, I think. So I have to do another one on this page, two more on the other one. And then we're going to splatter some stars and add some gold stickles to the clouds, add some highlights and stuff. We're going to get as much done today as we can, and then depending how much is left, I might just um, upload the rest of it in a pre-recorded video just to finish it off. And then I think we should be able to start something new on Wednesday. One second, Cajun. I'll put it in for you. Hi, Beth. Don't apologize, hon. That's okay. Thanks for joining. There we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> no problem, hon. There's a book for how to color in the books. Is that actually like, you're serious? I don't know why, but that just sounds really funny to me, but kind of cool at the same time. Pickle doesn't stream yet, Marie. We're trying to talk her into it, but so far, she's not being very cooperative. Oh no, so you can't even read it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you're gonna come in with the Prussian blue now. Or Prussian, Prussian, I'm not sure. One of those. Translator. That's too funny. <laughs> it's okay Connie if you've seen me in other people's streams I never type in English I literally have so many typos it's ridiculous and then I like watching streams on my laptop because it's so much easier to use the keyboard rather than my phone but then it's hard work getting to the emojis, which I also use like all the time. So there's just no happy medium. <laughs> Does it at least have like diagrams and pictures that you can kind of see what you need to do? Nope, definitely not just you. <laughs> I don't think anybody does, Jenny. We were talking about that last time. Everybody seems to hate their voice and then love everybody else's. Okay, Malachite Green, and I'm basically just going to fill up whatever spaces I have left. Maybe go over a little bit on some of these. 
that's one of the nice things about Dana Galaxy is you can basically just go over everything and blend colors together and it's gonna turn out good because it just always does. I love your voice, Jody. Your accent is gorgeous. Oh, come on, Marie. You totally kill it live streaming. It's like, it's really intimidating at first, but once you get into it, it's actually really nice. <laughs> and of course, we've got this whole wonderful community here, which most of which is just completely amazing and supportive. And that definitely is a huge help. Oh, that's okay. Our May always says that she's not very good with English too, but she puts out some amazing videos. <laughs> I think that too, Heather. <laughs> To be totally honest, I always felt like I had more of like a masculine voice, but then every, whenever I say that to people, they're always like, no, you don't. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, coming in with the black now. No rhyme or reason, really. Gonna make sure that I have it all around the edges, though. And then other than that, I'm just gonna randomly and sporadically throw it here, there, and everywhere. It's like one of my favorite sayings lately. <laughs> oh, Tanya, would you believe it if I told you that I'm shy too? Most of my streams are like slightly chatty, like me chatty and like mostly quiet. Today is a little bit different. I'm not sure why I'm just feeling chatty today, but a lot of the time I just don't know what to say. And then I feel awkward and self-conscious and anxious and <laughs> yeah, it's just not a good combination. Oh no, Connie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'd laugh because, because my mom, <laughs> I was, she was on the phone with what was it? One of those, what do you call them? Those people who call telemarketers, those guys. She was on the phone with a telemarketer and they thought she was a dude too, which is funny because my mom's voice doesn't sound like a guy at all. But I guess on the phone, voices sound different too though. Jenny, you don't have to worry about that at all. There's so many people that do that and it's, it's not, people aren't going to like make fun of you for it, or at least, you know, the nicer people aren't. Um, I'm also into kind of like the crafting community too. So some of you might know her, but Marta, or Mar is it Martha or Marta? I'm not sure. From um, Marami's Creative Cafe, I think is her YouTube name. English isn't her first language either, so she's always trying to think of the English words for things, and then she'll actually, like, call things different words, like, not the proper word. 
but it's just, I don't know, she's so sweet. I don't think he would have a problem. That sounds interesting, Cajun. <laughs> I actually had somebody come to the door the other day and they asked if my parents were home. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I am the parent. <laughs> Too funny. I told Rain that and he just started laughing. I also get a couple of the Jehovah's Witness ladies that come by every once in a while. They always, always have to comment on how I look way too young to be a mom. <laughs> but I was always one of those people that wanted to have kids at a young age because then I like always wanted to be able to enjoy my adult life with like grown kids and, you know, get as much out of the grandkids as possible and that kind of thing. So that was always kind of my plan. So it did work out. Oh, Heather. Well, even in chats here, you know, you could have people talking about you. You never know. Putting yourself out there, yeah, it does happen a little bit more. But, I mean, if we want to talk about you and say things, then that's more of a reflection on them than it is you. But I do totally understand because I'm like the same way. I hate the thought of people judging me. But you also got to remember that a lot of the people don't really know you either. So like Jody's Instagram story the other day, I still laugh at that because she put up one of those question things so people could ask her questions and someone typed out saying that she was lazy, which first off isn't a question. And secondly, it's like, okay, so where are you in her life every day knowing what she does at every second of the day to know whether she is lazy or not? It's the same as my family, more of like the further away family, always assume that I don't do anything with my son because I don't post it all over Facebook. So apparently if it's not on Facebook, you're not doing it. <laughs> Which I find super funny. Shara, I'm 24. I'll be 25 in October. There you go, Jody. Yep, there's perks to that. <laughs> that is very true, Heather. <laughs> I know, right, Connie? Goodness. It's the same with my sister and her husband came to grab something from my house, I think like a year ago. And I was making spaghetti, and they walk in, and they're like, oh, it smells good in here. I didn't know you actually knew how to cook. It's like, well, you're never here, so how would you know? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's crazy, Tanya. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually the baby in the chats. <laughs> But then I also get my admin, Danny. I think she's in her 30s, too. And then every time we get to talking about age, she always says that she forgets how young I am because, you know, I'm pretty mature for my age. But then again, I've been told that I have an old soul, and I did help my mom raise my brother because she was kind of a single mom, and my brother's four years younger than me, so I kind of, when she had to work all the time, I kind of stepped up and would watch him and stuff, so... 
you definitely have those things that happen in life that make you grow up a little bit faster sometimes. Exactly, Jody. I just, I find stuff like that funny because they couldn't even possibly know, like. It's not even really judging because they have no idea. They're just being idiots. <laughs> just ignorant. Right, Connie? My goodness. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Marie. Yeah, jealousy is definitely not a nice thing, that's for sure. Okay, I think that should be good for the black. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to color in this tail bit and then I'm going to flip the book upside down. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Well, maybe not. I didn't do it for the other side, so maybe I'll just I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. I guess I would want the bottom to look a little bit more murky anyways, I suppose. That's awful, Tanya.
That's too funny, Connie. Yeah, it's funny how, how they just assume things, eh? If they don't see it or notice it. Little brats. Thank you. Sure, Tanya. But I'm not going to be quite as chatty. I got to kind of concentrate. Can't look at the chat too often. I don't have to work quite so fast with these as I do with the ink tents, but one thing is it's kind of important to be a little bit speedy so that way you don't have to constantly rub around on the same part of the page. Because you got to be mindful with that water. Hey, welcome back, Becky. Mmm, carrot cake, Katie. I had some of that last night. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> That's funny. I've actually got chocolate cake in my fridge right now, but it's a piece that my mom sent home for carbon, so I can't eat it. But that's okay, because I had one last night. You too, Katie. Thanks for stopping in, hon. <laughs> You're welcome, Cajun. Enjoy it. Are you eating the kids' candy, Becky? <laughs> he does. He actually, he asked me to pack him up one. He asked really nice because he wanted to continue playing with his cousin. So they actually, him and his cousin did not want to come in for cake last night. So he asked, he's like, mommy, can you grab me a piece of cake to take home? I was like, yeah, I could do that. 
But then he threw a hissy fit on the way home when I told him that he wasn't having it because it was like an hour and a half past his bedtime, so... <laughs> He wasn't very happy. <laughs> Hi, Gary. That's okay. Yeah, he was having a blast. And he gets along with her so good. Um, my sister's daughter, on the other hand, daughters, he loves them, but they kind of butt heads because they have my sister's attitude, the poor things, so they are very bossy and he does not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Cajun. Being a kid was so much fun. I don't want to be an adult anymore. I want a refund. You know, your parents and everybody, they tell you, don't grow up too fast. You're going to miss being a kid one day. And what did most of us do? Just rolled our eyes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Carbon half the time says that he wants to grow up. And then the other half says that he doesn't want to. <laughs> he wants to stay little forever. Uh oh, Shara. <laughs> you didn't like being a kid, Connie? I don't feel like I was a kid for very long. Like I said, I had to grow up pretty quick, but from the times that I was able to act like a kid, I definitely feel like it was great. Especially out at the farm with my grandpa. Those are some of my best memories. Oh, he's out there getting into stuff and helping with cows. And it's just the best. I love that. No responsibilities, no bills. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to come back in with my black. Totally forgot about this. I want... That kind of border there. I forgot to come in on the tail with this. Or near the tail, not really on the tail. There. Thank you. Uh, I guess there's some of us that didn't have very good childhoods that probably wouldn't want to be a kid again. But, I mean, being a kid again doesn't mean that you have to go through the same things that you did. Just, just back to that, no responsibilities.
There you go, Gary. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah, just act like a kid. Too chatty, Tanya? Is that even a thing? <laughs> Enjoy your painting, hun. Yeah, good point, Connie. Okay, well, I really thought I'd be able to get more than just two coats on this background here. in two hours, but apparently I was wrong. So I'm just going to get my uh, hair dryer and I'm going to dry this page. It's going to be loud for a minute. Miss Lilo goes from sleeping to perked right up as soon as I grab the hair dryer. She does not trust this thing at all. Okay, it's going to be loud for a minute, guys. of them, except for the new Hannah Lynn one you put up. I think that was you. So, <laughs> oops, I forgot I still had my brightness turned up on my phone <laughs> from when I showed you guys those pictures. I'm going to have to charge my phone later. <laughs> okay, so this part is a little bit quicker. I'll just do the second coat on these and Probably all we're going to be able to get done today, unfortunately, but I don't think there's going to be enough to do in a six stream. I think this is like part five. So yeah, this will be the last actual stream and then whatever is left of this, I'm just going to do in a pre-recorded video. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I'm actually going to grab these colors. Did I use the jade green? I can't remember. I'm not, uh, yeah, I will. Okay. So I'm going to come in with the jade green and I'm just going to come over into these lighter areas and just kind of go over them, make them look a little bit more pronounced. I want to really brighten them up. 
I'm just going to focus on the top part. I'll do the bottom part after. Okay, thank you, Jody. I can like hardly ever remember. Hi, Robin. Glad you're home, sweetheart. Yeah, so that means that we are going on. Are you sure it's part five or is it part six? Hold on, now I gotta check here. No, this is part six. <laughs> I was gonna say, because we were at 10 hours last time. So now this is 12 hours put into this page. Almost 12 hours, and we're not even done yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you guys say I color fast. I disagree. Okay, and then in with the purple. Definitely want to bring out some more of that. And then the cobalt blue. Bye, Charlotte B. If I was on the team to build Rome, it would have been. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If I was the one that built Rome, it probably still wouldn't be done yet. I am a procrastinator. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jody. I'm just going to hop back to my purple here. I'll throw a little bit in there. And then come in with the violet. And for the most part, I'm going to blend into and bring out from where I put the purple. Just kind of towards the darker areas. I don't want too much black. I want that black in there to kind of kind of muddy up the colors a little bit. And then there has to be darker spots, of course, because otherwise our stars aren't really going to stand out because they're going to be way more noticeable in the darker areas. So that's why we have to have some dark parts in here. No, <laughs> I know, Shara. You are very sweet. It is definitely worth it. And this is one of my favorite pictures out of this book. So I definitely don't want to rush it too much either. So there's that. I think that might be good for the purple. I'm going to grab the Prussian blue now. And again, same thing. I'm just going to kind of pop this in mostly around the cobalt blue. The nice thing about this too is I can kind of mix it in with that violet and the purple as well to create a darker purple. Hi, Helly. How are you, hun? Have you colored in your book yet?
Okay, I'm with the cobalt blue. I think I'm going to throw some in here. And then I'm going to switch to the malachite green. Same thing, kind of focusing this around the jade green areas. Oh, yeah, it is that time of year, isn't it? For us, it's a little bit later, so I'm still waiting to be able to uh, plant in my garden. Right now, I'm just watering the... Which ones? Is it annuals or perennials that come back? It's perennials that come back every year, isn't it? Either way, whichever one of those, the ones that come back. I've got some lilies in my garden, so... Although, you might mean vegetable gardening, too. I just assume flowers, because I don't do vegetables. <laughs> Just coming in with the black, and I'm going to darken up some of these darker spots. Throw a little bit more violet in here. And back to the black. Okay, that's right. See, I always get it confused because I always think annuals because they come back yearly. But no, you're right, it's because they have to be planted yearly. Good, and then I'm going to come in and just activate that. Bye, Beth. I'll talk to you later, sweetheart. Yeah, I definitely hear that, Heli. This second layer, I'm going to try not to move the pigment around too much, and I'm going to be constantly wiping my brush off. So I also don't want to muddy up the colors too much either.
I love how much that second coat really brings out the colors. Sorry guys, not very talkative, trying to concentrate. The second coat is a little bit harder because you, you've got that color underneath that will move around and if you work it too much, it'll actually pull the color right out of there. So be quite careful. And then while worrying about that, you still gotta try and blend the colors in together a little bit, and it's just, it's kind of tricky. I probably could have, Joey. I was hoping to get away with uh, just one layer of colors. So I just did it all in one. And then of course, if I did it differently, um, it would have, you know, it wouldn't have looked the same on both sides. So once I had those colors down, I kind of have to do everything the same way again, so. But yeah, I probably could have and maybe should have done it that way. I think next time we do a background like this, I'll definitely try. I think I missed down here. Thought I was done, but nope, not yet. Kelly. Okay, 
gonna do the second layer on the bottom and then I think we'll call this a stream and I will try to have the last pre-recorded video of this out sometime this week. Hoping for tomorrow, but I'm not gonna make promises because I have no idea what my days are looking like the next few days. <laughs> I'm just coming in with the jade green. Again, gonna do the same thing here. Just bringing out those lighter colors. You did, Jody, and so far so good. Okay, here's the purple. Thanks, Marie. Have a wonderful day, hon. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, it's probably good for the purple. Let's come in with the cobalt blue, which I want more around this, less purple. So I'm just going to go over all of that. I love them too, Cajun, and I'm not very good with watercolors either, but these, I don't seem to have too much of a rough time with them, so I definitely enjoy them. And with the violet. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. That's okay, hun. No need to apologize. How are you today? Come in, baby. What you need? You're hungry. Yeah, it's lunchtime. I'm gonna make you lunch right away here. Okay. If you're quiet, you can. Yeah. I'm almost done. Okay. Glad to hear, Kenny. Prussian blue.
Dynamo. Happy Monday to you too. This is probably good for the blue. So next up is Malachite Green. And then lastly, I'm going to come in with the black. Thank you, Nana. Okay, Jody, enjoy your dinner, hun. I think I got everything I wanted to, so same thing as before. Just without quite so much blending. I'm gonna work really quick. I'm not gonna be able to look at chat here very much. Oops. Got some on the cloud, that's okay. Push that off of there a little bit or dilute it so it's not as noticeable. I'm a pink. Thanks, honey. You're a very light train like you. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Don't touch me. Hi, all about art. How are you? Are you and Daddy going for a bike ride or something, or what are you guys talking about? Um, Daddy just wanted to talk it out and come back here with... Oh, I thought Daddy already got coffee. No, she too tall, but she only did her toy today, and now she's only tall. Did Daddy get milk? 
So this is Droid, so the Droid is talking, Tom back home, did you try to come, come bring my car, so I could tell me to walk around the lake. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I could ride my bike yeah. on the field. Cool. Thank you, Art. Oh no, that's not a lie, honey. You just were mistaken. Okay, okay. Lay right there, not on the book. Oh, let her have that. Do she really like hot dogs? If she does like hot dogs, she can have that though. Milo, you are worse than a dog sometimes. You're not getting that. <laughs> You're like, Mimi, hot dog, hot dog, she's fine. Yeah, she wants it. Why? Uh -oh. See right there? I put a little bit. I worked it a little bit too much, and now that color wants to come up. Kitty, you're making it so much harder. Get your butt out of my face. Ah. Oh, well, I guess there's got to be some light spots too, right? So I'm not going to worry about it too much. No, I like eyeliner. Not point of the book. No. Um, working some of the color off. Oh. Um, I don't know, it's just a fantasy world, honey. Maybe that the prey will all be shrinked or will I the octopus that will be shrinked? Mm -hmm. I think you write like the ocean, right? Yeah. Yeah. You are correct, sir. Hi, Mom. I'm going to on not want to do this change we're doing. <laughs> okay. I got to help you. Oh, thank you, Cajun. Really appreciate that, hun. 
And while you're here, since you've just donated to the channel, I like to keep track, well, I do keep track of everybody that super chats the channel. And if you want to email me your address, if you're comfortable emailing me your mailing address, I will give you my email. And if not, just let me know. I totally understand. Some people don't want to give out their addresses. Totally up to you, hon. I have any yes, I would love to send you a thank you card. So how many? I okay, well, maybe just one at a time, okay? How many is it? What's the other? <laughs> I know, but still. Eat one, and then if you want another one, you can go back and get another one, okay? What? You can have two, but you just don't really need two at a time. What? Just cuz turkey. What? <laughs> I worked at a top. Okay, there's my email address, hon. And no, I'd like to. It's the least I can do. Mm. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You be careful, dude. Why you hear me on the floor? And you trip over. I know. Almost trip over. It's like a lot of crazy. It's just got a million times harder with a cat in my arms, I swear. <laughs> They look so adorable. <laughs> yeah, one for each hand, exactly. <laughs> they so adorable, Mom. Yes, she is adorable. Okay, get away from that right now, please. You end up breaking that mirror and your dad is going to have a conniption. Why? Because that mirror's crazy expensive, dude. I uh, that would get in my eye. Sorry if I keep getting my head on screen, I'm trying to look over the cat here. <laughs> Why well, can't you look at the cat here? I'll look over the cat because she's kind of in my way. Yeah. Bye, Susie. Bye, Joey. Oh, <laughs> unless you're not leaving. I think you were saying goodbye to Susie. But either way, let's zoom out here and get the kitty off the desk. Sorry, lady. Mm, Okay, so now they're a little bit better matched, color-wise anyways. I did do a little bit more black on the other side than I thought I did, but 
that's okay. We still got one more layer to do, and I think I am going to do it in a pre-recorded video. I'm going to say that I'll probably have it up by, let's say, Thursday. I'll have it up for Thursday. So that way, those of you that are following along can finish it. So as always, everyone, thank you for stopping in and for keeping me company and chatting and just being your lovely selves. And I think, unless, unless otherwise posted, I do believe that Nia should be streaming right away. So I will hopefully see you guys on her stream or on Wednesday and probably in Sammy's stream. <laughs> Goodness, Kitty. You are just. Yeah. You just bad today. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Say bye. Bye.